Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be doing a quick unboxing and review of the new Lenovo Moto Z2 Force Edition. Alright, so let's take a look at the outside of the box here. Uh, so it says Lenovo down here, Moto Mods compatible. So this is going to be featuring uh, all the new uh, Moto Mods. Moto Z2 Force here in the front. Let's turn it to the side. Moto Z2 Force on, on, the, on the right side as well. Let's take a look at the back. Includes Moto Z Force Edition, turbo power charger, USB cable, and headset adapter and guides. And then here's uh, some basic information in terms and condition. But okay, this one is the T-Mobile version, but you can also get this from AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, uh, US Cellular. So you're not limited to just T-Mobile. Okay, and down here, this is the Lunar Gray. Okay, this, this is the Lunar Gray version, uh, but they also come in Super Black, Fine Gold, and this one which is Lunar Gray. All right, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, it's gonna have two stickers here, holding, uh, closing the box. Oh, so it looks like the box opens up like this. This is the bottom of the box. So that is how the box opens. Let's pull this down here. Lift the bail up. Ooh, and there is the phone. The new Moto Z2 Force. All right, so we're gonna go over it uh, in just a minute. Let's put this to the side and go over uh, everything in the box one by one. Okay, so first up, here is the phone. Let's take a quick look at it. Put that to the side so we can go over it now. It's gonna bring this box right here. Hello Moto. You can open it up. And in here we're going to have the manuals, terms and conditions, the SIM card. Okay, so here's all the documentation for the phone. Let's put this to the side. Okay, we're gonna have the uh, turbo power adapter. Okay, this is a fast charger for the Moto Z2 Force. Here's all the information on the bottom. 100, 240 volts, 5 volts, 3 amp. Wow, very fast charger. So let's put that to the side. Next up, we have the USB Type-C cable. Okay, as you can see it, it's the new USB Type-C. All right, let's put that to the side. And we're gonna have this adapter, which is a USB Type-C adapter for the phone to headphone jack, to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So you can use your headphones and accessories. All right, let's put that to the side. And that's pretty much all it comes with. All right, so let's dig into the phone now. So here's the new uh, Lenovo Moto Z2 Force. Very nice looking phone. The screen, it has the shatter shield. It looks like it's a very good screen, shatterproof screen. This phone is compatible with Moto Mods. Okay, this phone has a dual 12 megapixel rear cameras. So it has two 12 megapixel rear cameras and two uh, rear camera sensors for excellent shots. The screen is 5.5 inch. 1440p quad HD battery has 
2720 mAh with the turbo power charging capability. Um, the phone, this one comes with 64 gigabytes of internal storage and four gigabytes of RAM. All right, let's pull this off. All right, so let's take a quick, quick look at the design of the phone. So over here in the front, we're gonna see the ear speaker mesh at the top, the front facing camera. Uh, over here, looks like we have the flash for the front facing camera and the proximity sensor. I'm not sure if we can see it on the camera, but it looks like it's about over here, the proximity sensor. Let's take a look at the bottom. Here we have the fingerprint scanner. Um, this does look like the home button at first, but it's not a home button. It's just uh, the fingerprint scanner. Uh, looks like over here we have a small hole, maybe for the uh, microphone, for the sound to go into the phone. Let's take a look at the bottom. Here we have the USB Type-C charging port. Okay, down here we can notice the model of the phone. This one is the XT1789-04. And then type M29E2. Let's take a look at the side of the phone. So it looks like over here we're gonna have the volume buttons, volume up, volume down. And this looks like it's going to be the power on and off button or lock button. Let's take a look at the top. Up here we're gonna have the SIM card slot. Let's check that out. Okay, so here we have the SIM and the SD card tray. This phone uh, is compatible with a SD card of up to 256 gigabytes. So let's place that back in. And up here looks like we're gonna have another microphone hole for the sound to go into while we're speaking on speakerphone or recording videos. Let's take a look at the other side of the phone. On this side, it's just gonna be plain, nothing on this side. Go ahead and take a look at the back now. Okay, so down here we're gonna have the uh, connections here for the Moto mods. We're gonna have the Motorola symbol over here in the middle and the two rear facing cameras with these sensors. Okay, this is a metallic back and a 5.5 inch screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and power it on now. Hello, Moto. Hello, Moto. All right, so here we're at the basic setup of the phone. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get it set up I just went through the whole setup so here's the main screen of the phone so let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of things on the phone let's take a look at the dial pad here this is how it's looking there's a nice uh, touch feedback to it it vibrates every time you touch something the buttons down here look very nice, they look more solid. To slide up to all the apps. To go to all the apps, you have to slide it up here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the settings. So here we have the memory. It tells you how much memory is being used up. 1.5 gigabytes out of the total memory, which is four gigabytes of RAM. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at some of these settings here. These are the display options. Take a look at some of the wallpapers. Wallpapers. On device wallpapers. All right, so it looks like it only comes with this one. It's the only wallpaper it actually comes with. Okay, so this down here is not the home button. This looks like it's actually just the fingerprint scanner, fingerprint sensor. Most of the new phones now are having it in the back. This one now has it down here. Here's the storage. So 18 gigabytes, almost 19 gigabytes of the 64 is used up by the stock apps that the phone comes with and the operating system. 
Wow, so that's almost 20 gigabytes out of the 64. Here's the battery app, Moto Mods. Okay, so it comes with Android 7.1.1 Nugget. All right, so it looks like it is pretty easy to set up the fingerprint. Uh, the fingerprint scanner does work very good. Let's test it out. If we do it with this finger, see what it does? Fingerprint not recognized. Nice. Okay, so here we have all the T-Mobile apps, the device unlock app. Okay, so it's a P-O-L-E-D touchscreen, capacitive, capacitive touchscreen, uh, 16 million colors. It, ha it has uh, 1440 by 250, by 1440 by 2560 megapixels. So it has two, uh, 12 megapixel rear cameras with dual camera sensors. It has four gigabytes of RAM. It has a 2730 MAH LI ion battery, non-removable. Uh, comes with turbo power charger. Uh, it weighs about 143 grams, which is equivalent to 5.04. Okay, it has a 70.4 screen to body percent ratio. It has a shatterproof uh, screen. It has a octa-core processor, uh, which is Qualcomm's fastest processor right now. Okay, the, the camera on this phone has geotagging, uh, touch focus, face detection, HDR, Panamera photos. Uh, it shoots uh, 2160p videos at 30 frames per second, um, 1080p at either 30, 60, or 120 frames per second or 720p videos at 240 frames per second. It has a, uh, the front, the front facing camera is five megapixel dual LED, which means dual tone flash. It has the fingerprint scanner, it has an accelerometer, gyro, proximity sensor, and a compass and a bar barometer. This phone comes with GSM, HSPA, and LTE. It's gonna be available at stores August 10, it's gonna be available at AT&T, Sprint, uh, T-Mobile, US Cellular, Verizon, and Best Buy. Okay, this phone is going to be uh, pretty expensive. It's gonna be uh, retailed at Verizon for $756. Uh, some stores uh, may have it for a little bit less, but it is gonna be a, uh, a phone that's gonna be around the $700 price range. All right guys, so that was just a quick unboxing and review video of the new Motorola Z2 Force. All right, I uh, hope this video was helpful. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time, peace.